千里之行，始于足下。A journey of a thousand miles begins beneath the feet. We now gather in the Tao to travel the journey together. Welcome to Tao Talks with Derek Lin, where we take a deep dive into the Tao Te Ching by Lao Tzu. I would like to invite you to center your thoughts and direct your attention to this moment in time, to the here and now, to be fully present and mindfully aware. As we all ready ourselves for this sacred process of the Tao. In this slide, I have the image of a mountain stream at the bottom. Then I have two columns: one column for water, observations of water, and how that can apply to human beings. So, for instance, sages would observe that. Water does not flow randomly; it follows the laws of nature. It flows to a particular point. It does a particular thing. It is not random. So, if we were to emulate that, if we were to emulate Tao, emulate nature, then we human beings, we too, should act with deliberate intent. Following the principles of the Tao, just as water follows the laws of nature, we should also act from principles of the Tao. Now, water flows downhill according to the contours of terrain. It doesn't just flow anywhere. There's a specific way that it'll flow, and it depends on the contours of the terrain. In a similar way, we human beings, each one of us, has a A specific, unique, personal, individual goals. What you want to accomplish may be very different from what I want to accomplish for myself. So we move toward that, and what that is is up to the individual. It's unique to you. So individual goals, whatever they may be. This is now we're talking about as we. Uh, mentioned in the last slide, we talk, we're talking about the direction. We're talking about the milestones, the destination, etc. Just by looking at nature, we can derive more on what nature demonstrates to us and what we see in human lives. In nature, we sometimes see stagnant pools of water. I've seen it. You've seen it. Everyone has seen it. A person. Who does not have a direction in life is like that stagnant pool of water. Stagnant pool of water, that water is not going anywhere. Somebody who doesn't have direction in life, he he or she is not going anywhere. Soon, the water becomes stale. The stagnant water becomes stale. It becomes breeding ground for parasites, mold, and bacteria. When mosquitoes breed in this dirty water, they carry diseases. They become a health hazard. So think about the toxic effects of being a stagnant pool of water in life. When you don't have a direction, things don't just remain static. They actually become worse. So that is a Tao principle that we can derive. Just from the observation of nature. Now, what happens when the water is blocked? Observing nature, we see that when blocked, water doesn't waste any time complaining about the blockage. It doesn't waste any time trying to smash the blockage. Perhaps it's a rock that's blocking its way. Water is not going to complain about that. Water is not going to try to smash it. Instead. Water is simply going to find whatever path it can around the obstacle. So when blocked, same thing. When we're blocked in life, when we encounter an obstacle preventing us from doing something that we want to accomplish, just like water, we can learn from that. 
No need for us to complain. No need to get mad, get angry. Obstacles occur in life. That is something that we know for sure, just as water in a mountain stream at some point is going to be blocked. At some point, it's going to have to flow around. Trying to smash through would simply be a waste of energy. Complaining would simply be a waste of time. Instead, water finds a way to get around quickly and efficiently. Could we do the same thing? Well, if we look around, when we get, when we encounter an obstacle, if we keep an open mind, there's always another way. There's always another approach. If we keep our eyes open from the open mind, we'll be able to see the solution to the problem. If we're just busy complaining or getting mad, we may not see the solution or the alternative alternative path at all. So this is where in the Tao, the message from the sages will be, okay, everybody, be like water, emulate water. And when I say be like water, it may be reminding you of a famous quote from Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee famously said, be water, my friend. That became so well known, it's actually the title of a book written by his daughter to talk about his philosophy for life. Where do you suppose Bruce Lee got his inspiration, his direction in life from? He got it from studying the Tao. The more familiar with Tao teachings, the more you will see the echo of Tao teachings from Bruce Lee's life philosophy. So quite a few books have actually been written about that. And by the way, what was Bruce Lee's favorite Tao Te Ching translation? Would anyone happen to know? That's actually a trick question. Bruce Lee did not use a translation. He migrated in his late teens to the United States, so he's a native speaker of Chinese. He can simply read the original, which is exactly how I learn as well. No need for a favorite translation when you can just look at the original text. When I say it like that, I think it makes perfect sense to everybody. So be water, my friends. Our meeting has come to an end, but the journey continues on. Let us all travel safely so we can meet again. Until next time, may the Dell fill you with peace and happiness.